Folding Clothes, Part 1. Do your drawers look like this? Every time someone comes into your room, do they say, oh my goodness, look at those drawers? Do you have trouble trying to close your drawers because your clothes are everywhere? If you have that problem of all your clothes being scrunched up in your drawer and you can't close your drawer or they spill out of your drawer, then you're in the right place. Come with me. Let's learn how to fold our clothes. The first thing to do is to take all the clothes out of the drawer and put them on the floor in a pile. That way you have a nice empty drawer. Go and grab a t-shirt or a jumper and learn how to fold it with me. The first thing you need to do is to take the t-shirt or jumper by the top where, where your shoulders are and give it a gentle shake. Next, lay the t-shirt or jumper on the floor and spread it out as if you were wearing it. Now, when we fold things, we want to make them smaller. So we're going to take one arm and put it over the other. Basically, we're going to fold our clothes in half. Just bring the arms over and put it on the body of the jumper. Now all that's left to do is to take the top end of the jumper and fold it so it goes to the bottom end. Now look how small our jumper is now. Nice and neat to be able to fit into the drawer. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, but if it's that size, it will fit in nicely to the drawer. Now all you need to do is to repeat this process with all your other t-shirts, jumpers, and long sleeve shirts. When your clothes are all folded, it's time to put them back into the drawer. Pick your folded clothes up using two hands and that way they will stay folded as you put them back into the drawer. Remember, don't put too many clothes in the one drawer. You can fold your jeans and pants and track pants in exactly the same way. Hold them from the top where your waist is, give them a shake out and then lay them on the floor. Now take one leg of the jeans or pants and put it over the other so there's only one leg instead of two. Take the top part where the button and the zip are and fold it over to the bottom of the jeans. You can fold them over one more time to make it nice and small. Then all you need to do is that same thing for all the rest of your jeans and pants. To put the jeans back into the drawer, remember to use two hands, one at the top and one at the bottom, so that the jeans stay folded. Now that you have folded all of your clothes and put them back in the drawer, it's so easy to go to the drawer, open it, find what you want to wear, and then close the drawer again. Remember, keep all the same type of clothes in the one drawer. So have a drawer for t-shirts and tops and a separate drawer for jeans and shorts. And don't put too many clothes in the one drawer.